Actually, I heard the banjo before I ever saw the person. And I followed this sound like all through the weaving downtown streets. And it was like a bad day, it was rainy. This guy pro like, was probably making no money at all, but the music of this banjo was just like, I felt like it was from my heart. Like I was hearing my own soul out there in the air. And I was like, oh, I have to find this. What, what is making this sound? Right as I was finishing high school, someone was like, I found this banjo in an abandoned warehouse. I'll fix it up for you and just give it to you. And this old 1949 Gretsch banjo, just gorgeous. And I'm like, it pays off. Like two, like two years of just writing banjo on my wrist. They're like, here it is. This is the exact banjo I'd been dreaming of. And it came, finally. And so I got that banjo and immediately, I left to go off hitchhiking and riding freight trains with this instrument that I didn't know how to play. But I was like, ah, I'll just learn. I'll teach myself. And my goal was to leave Washington State and make it to New Orleans. Because that's like, in my mind, the capital of music in the USA. I love performing here because there's a lot of people, even who aren't from here, they're here for music. They're obviously people who are like passionate about either listening to music or playing it themselves. And that's cool to have as an audience because you know that they're already really interested. People didn't come here necessarily to listen to me. They're not like sitting down like in a concert space being like, all right, we expect you to do good. We're watching you. The focus is on. On the street, it's more like, well, I'm just here. There's plenty of other things going on. And you're just walking by. You can stop. You can keep walking. You're free to do exactly what you want. But if you do really connect with it, and that stops you from your whole life, that's kind of beautiful. When I'm writing songs, I'm always trying to say something that already is lost and just dancing around this thing that maybe is forever lost, but it would inspire me. It inspires me and other people to keep looking for what, what is deep and true and almost lost because it's so hard to express things that are so deeply within you. There's so many other musicians that are really, really, really talented and have studied for a long time. Who are you to think that you're going to make it <laughs> or that your music is, is worth continuing to put energy into? And I, I doubt that a lot, but at the same time I just have to have strength in that I love what I'm doing and I feel it makes me feel strong and I hope that it helps other people feel strong. And so I just keep doing it.